My colleague Gaurav Savant continues to be live with us from Israel. Gaurav, earlier you were mentioning about how the Israeli Defense Forces have taken out possibly over 1,000 Hamas terrorists who had infiltrated into Israeli territory, but there could be more. There are apprehensions. There could be more. Does that mean that the Israeli Defense Forces have not been able to liberate all the areas that Hamas had infiltrated into in southern Israel? When we travel through the southern part of this country, um, it's actually uh, various kibbutz, various villages, various settlements, um, uh, some small uh, towns, and each house has to be cleared. Each building has to be cleared. Uh, each neighborhood has to be cleared. Warehouses have to be cleared. Uh, open fields have to be cleared. And in all of that, the Israeli security forces are moving very, uh, very. They're moving slowly. Uh, they're waiting for a lot of intelligence inputs that are also coming in. There are eyewitness accounts that are coming in. For example, near the Zikin Beach area uh, yesterday, there were reports that four uh, uh, Hamas terrorists were neutralized uh, just yesterday. A couple of days ago, again, there were reports of three people being neutralized. And these are remnants of those fighters or they could be a part uh, of, of that al Qasim brigade who are hiding that when more security forces come in they will carry out a suicide attack target those security forces or civilians when they move back into their homes and then uh, you know ca cause uh, more death and destruction already the death and destruction here is unbelievable 1200 people dead more than 2000 injured uh, several still being uh, held hostage. So Israel is moving very slowly in its counterattack. Uh, you know, the military leadership and, of course, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, they said, yes, we were taken by surprise, but now the resolve is steely. They will decimate. They will decimate all that remains of Hamas or degrade its war fighting capabilities completely. So that is why they're moving very slowly right now. Many are asking, you know, why are these uh, strikes, uh, why haven't ground forces moved in? But as that report, uh, you know, uh, uh, Lauren Isaac pointed out in her report that food, material, weapons, ammunition, all of that is still being collected. Yesterday, we were there at a place called Sidiyov. Sidiyov, again, is not very far uh, from the Gaza, uh, Gaza Strip. This is where an emergency medical camp had been organized uh, after the Saturday attack. And now that same emergency medical camp is for soldiers and it's a logistics base for material to be prepared for soldiers to be taken to the front line. So all of that is happening happening right now. Israel is preparing, Israel is preparing, it's getting all its resources together. A lot of weapons and systems are coming in from the United States of America because once you launch a full-scale offensive, you have to have your logistics in place, uh, which, which includes your fuel, oil, lubricants, which includes your uh, second line of ammunition, your third line of ammunition, your soldiers who are fighting, their, their, their change, all of that is already being put in place before that ground assault is mounted. Okay, so you're saying that ground forces uh, could be moving in soon into the Gaza Strip? So yesterday we were reporting uh, from a place near Zikim, uh, this is en route Sridot and Sridot is perhaps one of those last uh, pockets uh, where uh, civilians are yet to move in because the security forces are, are, are at least uh, late yesterday, they were yet to clear it completely. Uh, and. Once all of that is sorted out, once internally Israel is secured that there are no more Hamas terrorists inside their country, near Zikim, you had the tanks, you had the armored personal carriers, uh, you had uh, you know troop carrying vehicles, you had the logistics supplies coming in, you had uh, ammunition coming in, uh, and this includes artillery ammunition, infantry ammunition, you had more supplies of, uh, of their uh, missiles that were coming in. All of them are being very systematically, uh, uh, you know, taken to, to their bases. Reservists have been called out. In fact, soldiers who had retired uh, from service in the past couple of years, their services are also being taken. They've also been called back on active duty. So this is a country that is mobilizing that like never before, not just to deal with the threat on the southern borders, not just to deal with the threat vis-a-vis uh, Hamas, but it's only a matter of time, Polomi. Uh, it is being the apprehension is that very soon they will also have to mobilize in a very big way to take on uh, the threat that's posed by Hezbollah um, uh, on, on the Lebanese border, also tension on the Syrian border. So all borders are being uh, are being strengthened right now. 
the United States has its aircraft carrier battle group with its uh, hundred, uh, uh, you know, aircraft uh, attack, uh, uh, aircraft fighter jets, uh, logistics aircraft, tankers, uh, uh, plus uh, elent aircraft. All of that are being put in place in the Mediterranean Sea to ensure that others don't get activated the moment Israel goes in for that massive offensive, which perhaps could start uh, in, in, in the next couple of days, if not weeks, according to the preparations that are already in place, Paul Amir.